Over the course of life, you will meet many different types of women. Some of them will test you, while others will be submissive from the get-go, and some will just nag and bore you whenever they can. Learning to hold great confidence across all situations is key for your masculine frame. Once you understand this one simple principle, you will be able to dominate not only in your dating life, but in all aspects of your life. Your work, business, relationships, and sports. Regardless of the area of your life, confidence is the key. And one of the greatest benefits is being able to stand up for yourself whenever you need to. You will become straightforward and you won't be going around in circles anymore. Confidence is one single thing that separates the high-value men from low-value men. It is a trait that can turn you into a self-developed man. Consider it for a moment. Two different men can say the same exact thing and get totally different reactions from their environment. And it all depends on the confidence they had while they were saying it. This video is all about teaching you to master unshakable confidence and develop your masculine frame. Here are six proven steps to get there, and if you apply it, it will change the way you show up entirely. Life isn't that complicated once you know the rules of the game. And remember, it is a game. Master the rules and you will dominate. When it comes to women, they rely on their appearance and stance. Pretty women don't need a game, to be honest, and most of them don't have it. You need to realize that pretty women are the loneliest, because most men have a fear of rejection, the pretty ones don't get that approached as you may think. This is why pretty women are actually easier to approach. Most men have no idea of this, and often due to their insecurities settle for second or third best. But there is no need to do that. Responsibility of approaching a woman falls entirely on you, so women will not put out much energy inviting you to come up. Women know men choose them based off of appearance, so they are basically waiting to be chosen. Guys, on the other hand, must rely more on their social skills and knowledge and have a proportional body frame. Your ability to speak and be confident is what will determine whether you can win her over or not. Another thing that is highly attractive to women is experience. A woman is more likely to be attracted to someone a decade or older than her because of his experience and the ability to take care of her. If you have these aspects of you developed, then your masculine frame is mastered. Experience is of great value as it provides strength, but with this strength comes great responsibility. If you can't handle responsibility, you can't handle a woman. Your success in a relationship is measured by how much you can make this woman feel safe. In a safe environment where she is protected and taken care of, a woman will give you the best she has. She becomes like a little girl in love, yet a real woman when it comes to pleasing your needs. You may not be physically attractive, but if you tell her what she needs to hear, you can have any woman you want. Whenever you show initiative and confidently say words like, I can do that, it will make her tingle. You believing you can do anything is a great show of confidence, and women admire men with confidence. A confident man knows what to do and how to do it. And if you don't know how, be confident you can learn. I can do that is such a powerful sentence to women. If a man can provide a solution to her problem, it is a single biggest turn on for females. Her problem could be as simple as fixing something in her household, standing up for her, or basically anything. As mentioned, you don't need to actually know how to do something it is enough to seem as you can do anything, even if you go and learn it afterwards. You are willing to learn, and you are confident you can, and this will guarantee respect of men around you as well. Man is someone who provides solutions, only to develop such an ability you first need to master yourself. Number two, testing. Women tend to test their partners with something they say only to get a reaction. Some of these tests may include calling you a certain something, like a playboy, to see your reaction. Or even commenting on your hair or calling you short. There is different things they do to tease a reaction. They do this to check how much she can get into your head, as well as to check if you are a good choice. Most of the time, they aren't even aware they do this. She's subconsciously checking whether you qualify to become her partner. 
If testing scares you, then you are stuck in feminine energy. If you were to be a real man, you need to understand one thing about women. They will tease to test, and it's no big deal. It's how they are designed. Accept this and play along. The good news is, if she is testing you, she is considering you. Don't let these words get to you. If you take her words personally, it will reflect poor confidence, and this might change her mind about her interest in you. So remain calm and relaxed and understand she is test-teasing you. Don't tease her back or let this change your demeanor at all. Rather see it for what it is and turn it into something funny. If she says you are short, just say, I make up for it, and smile while looking into her eyes. She will love that. If she says, yeah, how? Then say something like, I'm a great dancer, even if you're not. Even if you have the worst dance, just the fact you say something like this will put her in awe about you. When you have control over your mindset, you don't let anyone get inside your mind. But remember, when a woman likes you, she will interview you. But your appearance will determine just how much. So stay sporty. You need it anyways. Number three, don't dwell in the past. Most men learn too late that dwelling in the past brings nothing good. Not only do you attract what you think about, and therefore you attract the same old things, but also because it will make you suffer. It is necessary to avoid those bad memories and feelings of rejection and learn to move on in life. The sooner you start to manage your thoughts, the better. Understand that rejection is part of the game and you will learn from failures more than from the success. If anything, success is a byproduct of failing and finding a way that works. It is very important to realize your childhood programming has a lot to do with how you see yourself today and how prepared you are for adulthood. But in a man's 20s, he is the one preparing himself for real-life circumstance. Women in their early 20s are at prime when it comes to looks, and during this time, they feel they can conquer the world. These emotions mature by their late 20s, resulting in a serious relationship and marriage. With men, it is opposite. In teenage years, you are working on your experience and skills. Man's attractiveness is based on two factors. One is your age, and the other one is how successful you are. Most men reach their success anywhere from mid-twenties to late-thirties. Number four, stay groomed. Don't look up to fashion models or celebrities from TV and Instagram. This has nothing to do with being a real man in the real world. If you are short, don't complain. It is useless to even focus on something out of your control. And although quantum physics says mind controls the matter, which would imply we can change our appearance with the use of subconscious mind, but until you master it, don't whine as there is no point in crying over it and focus on what is in your control. That is the number one principle to mastering great confidence. Just like your semen energy, the energy of your attention can be directed to better use. If you were short, focus on your strength or how funny you are. But the main focus here is on your grooming. When you are in good shape, you have confidence to deal with anything, especially women. So if you weren't active during childhood, start working out, join a gym. And this isn't only to put you in great shape, but it will prevent health issues. And health is the greatest asset you can ever have. When it comes to physical appearance, number one thing everyone will notice and determine whether you are attractive enough is if your body is proportionate. Don't carry extra weight. This will help you stay both healthy and attractive. Every man can be a 10 out of 10. All it takes is some fine tuning to your weak points. Working out will take care of your health, looks, libido, and levels of happy hormones, just to name a few. Number five, they talk. It is easy to become a hot commodity among women. A man is often a target of gossip amongst women. You have heard of guys having sex with their girlfriend's friends. You resolve a few problems and show nobody can move you. And now you are in a position where she can't help but telling everyone how great you are. This is something women do. They share their infatuation with their friends and certain hot topics come up. And this makes you more desirable in her circles. This is what domino effect looks like. 
but don't think this is any excuse to break a vow to the woman you are with. High value men don't stoop so low, and they are committed to fighting the evil drives. He doesn't allow temporary pleasures to come before his word. Number six, take on an abundance mindset. There is no reason to feel bad for getting rejected by a woman. We all have different preferences, and the fact you don't match someone's doesn't mean anything. Move on. High value men get rejected, but they don't despair over it. This can be easier said than done, especially if you just came out of a relationship. But you need to slowly come back from it and bring yourself into a calm state of confidence. It is in your voluntary control to shake yourself out of a bad state into a state of confidence. You will meet other women and impress them with the way you show up. As soon as you are having fun, X starts wanting to get back with you. You noticed how when you find someone new and fall in love, your ex contacts you. This is because of your vibration signaling to the world you are already having fun and you don't need her. Your masculine energy forms a magnetic field attracting all that you want. But you need to ask yourself, do you need this in your life again? It is your call, but at this point, they see you as very attractive, and this is because of the abundance mindset. Women usually already have this mindset, as it is socially appropriate for men to approach women. Having an abundance mindset creates more options for you as a man, but more than anything it will have you feeling relaxed and confident. And this results in attracting more women as you prove yourself to be a high-value man. Learn to use semen retention energy and attraction to boost your confidence from within, and own up to a commanding presence. The video comes to an end here. Please do leave us a like and subscribe for the algorithm. Be sure to watch one of these videos here to find the next best way to level up in life. Thank you for watching.